Hello everybody. This is a 30 minute flow for you. So I'm going to pull a card for all of us today. And it is, I am open. My heart and mind have no boundaries. Okay, so let's come into child's pose on the mat. We'll get started right away. Big toes connect behind you, knees to the mat edges and forehead to the floor. Extend your arms out in front. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale out of your mouth. Again, inhale, fill up. Exhale to release. So set your intention here for your practice, for your movement and breath today. What drew you here and what inspires you and motivates you? Use that as your focus today as you move with your breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose here. Breathe it in and exhale out. Seal your lips and let's take the breath in through the nose again and out through the nose now. Let's extend the arms, plant down through the palms, slide the shoulders down the back, take a deep breath in. Exhale, press your hands down and away from you to lengthen a little more through the upper back and through the entire spine, inhale. Exhale, pressing back, getting into the hips a little more as well. And then inhale, come on up into tabletop. We're going to set the shoulders right over the wrists and hips are over the knees. On your inhale, open your heart forward. Tailbone rises, cat cow. Exhale, round your spine, take your gaze to your belly, dome out your back. Inhale, heart drops. Take the gaze forward, belly drops. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale. Exhale, you can round here and press back a little bit, or sit back, I should say, into your child's pose. Inhale, come back through and up with your heart, through the arms, tailbone lifts, belly down. Exhale, round your spine, really ground through the palms and pull back. Two more, inhale. Exhale, round. Inhale. Exhale, round. Come back to neutral spine. And a little bit more intuitive movement for you, maybe side to side, taking your gaze back to your um, legs, each side. Maybe some circles in through the wrists, through the shoulders. And then we'll sit back into downward facing dog. Curl the toes under, press back, downward dog here. And walk your dog out. Reach your heels down actively towards the mat. And just dance off the hips a little bit. Draw the hip creases up towards the ceiling. Press your hands like they're dialing away from one another to slide the shoulders down the back, integrating them a little bit more with uh, just a little more stability this way. Inhale forward into high push-up position. Exhale, land the knees, anchor the feet. Down you go into modified flow. Little lift into low cobra. And then exhale back through your knees, curl your toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg high to the sky. Step your right foot up to your right hand. Keep your back heel lifted. Inhale, lift up into crescent lunge. Exhale here. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, land your hands. Step right foot back, in breath here. Out breath, knees land, anchor the tops of the feet. Keep dialing the hands away. Pull your heart through your arms, so lead with the chest as you come down. Little lift, low cobra. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. Left leg high to the sky. Hug the left knee into your chest and then bring the left foot up to the left hand. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, lunge. In breath, heart rises. And then exhale, land the hands. Step your left foot back, in breath here. Out breath through the knees, come all the way down. Maybe a little lift here into cobra or up into upward dog. Exhale, roll toes, downward facing dog. Slow stroll to the top of the mat. Big toes connect, heels slightly apart. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale to fold into yourself. Bend your knees, take your arms out to the sides and up. 
Palms touch above your crown. Connect the palms down to your heart. We can inhale here and exhale. Sweep the arms up wide to the sky. Inhale. Exhale, dive low. Halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Land your hands. Step back. High plank. Inhale here. Exhale down to low plank or through the knees. Lift into upward dog or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Right leg high to the sky. Step your right foot up to your right hand. Land your back heel. Uh, taking your left foot at about a 45 degree angle. Inhale. Reach your arms up into warrior one. In breath. Out breath. Lift your heart. Exhale. Press down through the left heel. Press it away. Stretching into the calf, into the hamstring a little. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Land your hands. Step right foot back. Inhale into high plank. Exhale down to low plank. Lift. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale. Roll on back. Downward facing dog. Left leg high to the sky. Step your left foot up to your left hand. Bring your back heel down. Angling the toes about 45 degrees. Ground through the outside edge of your right foot. And then inhale. Sweep your arms up into warrior one. Set the shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale. Lift your heart. Jaws relax. Inhale. Exhale. One more here. Lift. And then land the hands. Step your left foot back. Inhale. Exhale down to low plank. Lift. Upward dog or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale. Come on to the balls of the feet. Bend the knees. Look forward. Float or step your feet up. Halfway lift. Lengthen your spine. Exhale. Fold. Bend your knees. Take your arms out to the sides and up. Palms touch above your crown. And then bring your hands down in front of your heart. Thumbs just connect to the heart space, to the chest bone area. Lift your heart up into your hands. And one more breath. Notice how your stance is. If your hips are pressing forward, draw them right over the heels. And then inhale, sit down and back into chair pose. Connect your palms down to heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to your right, left elbow to the outside of the right thigh. Breath in to find the length first. Breath out to twist, rotate your heart to the right. Inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale to rotate. Really nice. Back to center, arms reach up. Reset, back bend. And then bring your hands down to your heart. Drop your hips down, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist to the left. Breath in to find length. Breath out to find rotation. Inhale. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, rotate. Draw that left hip or right hip back. Inhale, last one. Exhale, twist. Back to center. Arms reach high to the sky. Exhale, dive low. Halfway lift. Land your hands. Step back. High plank. Inhale here. Exhale down below plank. Lift, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slide forward into high plank. Bring your left wrist underneath your left shoulder. Pivot your heels to the side, right arm high, side plank. Maybe you're stacking your feet. Maybe you're lifting the right leg up, away from the left. Three, two, one. Land your right hand, flow it out. Down you go. Lift, upward dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale forward into high plank. Set your right shoulder down the back. Pivot your heels to the right. Left arm high. Maybe stacking the feet. Lifting the left leg. Three, two, one. Land and flow. Down you go to low plank. Lift, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale. Come on to the balls of the feet. Bend the knees. Look forward. Float or step your feet up. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Drop your hips low, arms reach high. Chair pose. And then straighten the legs. Hands connect right in front of the heart. Inhale. Exhale. A couple more breaths here. And then bring your arms up, overhead palms to face in. Inhale here. Exhale, lift your heart up high. So we're pressing down through the feet, lifting the heart into a baby back bend. Lift through the chest bone versus the chin. Draw the chin down, neutralize it, and lift. 
two breaths, stimulating the nervous system, really good for the spine, and move it into a back bend. One more breath, resetting it, roll the forward movement through the day, and then come back to neutral. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold forward gently. Halfway lift, lengthen. Land your hands, step back. High plank here. Hold high plank, press down through the hands. And then we're gonna come down onto the forearms and press down through the forearms. And lift right leg up, land the leg. Left leg up, land the leg. Ah, both legs, no, just kidding. Right foot up and down, left foot up and down, hold. Come back up into high plank, downward facing dog. Awesome. Inhale here, exhale. Come onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees, look forward, float or step your feet up. Halfway lift to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, arms move out, out to the sides and up. Palms touch above your crown. Land your hands down in front of your heart. Inhale here. Exhale. Really nice. Sip of water if you need. And then we're going to move into some balancing. Okay. All right. So with balancing, you're going to have hands to hips. Spread the left toes out. Bring your right knee up. Take your left hand to the outside of the right thigh. Right hand back. So you can stay here or you can use your left hand to grab the outside of the right foot and kick forward and then bring your right arm back. Press your right foot into your left hand if you're doing that or if you are in the first part of the pose, press your right leg into your left hand. One more breath. Sweep your arms up, inhale, exhale, reach your right leg back, feed your arms alongside you, reach the fingers back towards the back of the mat or toppling tree. Roll your right hip down, spin your left thigh out. Two more breaths, really nice. And then release that, come out slowly, land your right foot to meet your left. Hands catch hips, left leg up, hip height, right hand to the outside of the left leg. Maybe your left arm's going back here, right arm forward, twisting beautifully through the spine. Or if you like, Keep your left hand on your hip, grab the outside of your left foot with your right hand and reach your left arm back. Inhale here, exhale, twist your heart to the left, press your left foot into your right hand, press it away, nice. Press down through your standing foot, standing leg, last breath here, release that grip, arms reach up, inhale, exhale, take your left leg back, arms alongside you. Reach the left toes back, roll your left hip down. Two breaths here, maybe hinge a little further forward as you lift the left leg up. And return left foot to right. Give your legs a little shake here. We'll do some ad sagittal arm swings, they're called. So really good for the shoulders. Just let your arms swing here, feet are hip width apart. And we're gonna dip down and sweep the arms, swing them up and then down. So as you come into your squat, your arms swing down or sweep down. And just reach them up as you straighten the legs. For six, just let them swing. Five, four, that's it. Three, two, one. Now stay in chair pose. Feet are still hip width apart. Keep pressing the feet away from one another. Lift your left foot and hover the right foot. Take your right leg forward, kick it forward. Hold for three, two, one. Land your right foot and then lift the left foot, kick it forward, sit back and down with the hips. Shift the weight to the standing heel, two, one. Return the foot, straighten the legs, reach your arms and heart up. Exhale, arms down to your sides. Really nice, good job you guys. Okay, sweep the arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine, land your hands, step back downward facing dog, right leg high to the sky, step your right foot up to your right hand, inhale, reach your arms up, crescent lunge, deepen into the lunge, inhale, exhale, open up warrior two, so just bringing right arm forward, left arm back, and from here, 
We're gonna just move with the breath. Left arm down, right arm high. Inhale, reach from the right side. Exhale, overhead. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, into triangle. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach back, peaceful. Inhale, center. Exhale, triangle. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach back into your peaceful. Lunge a little deeper. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale, reach back. Back to neutral. Straighten the front leg. Let's turn the toes. Come into the lunge. Straighten. Good. Uh, straighten with the torso as far as bringing it back. To stack over the hips. Inhale here. Exhale. Let's come into peaceful. Inhale. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, center, exhale, triangle. Inhale, center, exhale, reach back. Inhale, center, really nice, you guys. And triangle, last one, inhale. Stay low on your lunge, exhale, reach back. Hold here, inhale, exhale, reach back. Feel the opening on the left side, beautiful. One more inhale, exhale to reach, back to center. Hold one breath. Straighten the front leg, turn your toes to the side. So now we're pigeon toeing a little bit, bringing the toes in closer than the heels. Inhale here, exhale, fold forward. Grab onto the outsides of the heels. Hug underneath them, inhale, exhale to draw yourself down. Slide the shoulders up the back away from the ears and dial the feet away from one another. Inhale, exhale. <clears throat> Feel even the knees dialing away from one another. Inhale, exhale here. Shift the weight a little bit more into the balls of the feet, not so much back into the heels. One more breath, inhale, exhale to pull. Release that, bring your hands underneath your shoulders. You can walk your feet in a little closer, bend your knees, hands to hips, inhale all the way up. And then turn your toes out to 45 degrees, come into your squat. Take your arms up, inhale, exhale, pull down. Inhale to reach up, exhale to pull down as you stay into your squat. Inhale up, exhale, pull. One more, inhale, reach up, exhale, pull down and come onto the balls of the feet. Good, hold for three, two, one. Land your heels, take your arms out to the sides and palms face open to the front. Press, well, little, little pulses for six, five, four. Keep bringing the legs back, two, one, and sit down for three, two, one. Straighten the legs, draw the arms together, step together, grab a sip of water if you need. I just got mine here. Whew. Okay. From here, top of the mat, inhale, arms reach high to the sky. Exhale, dive low. Halfway lift, long spine. Land your hands, sit back, high plank, inhale, exhale down the low plank and hold for three, two, one. Up into upward dog, back into downward dog. Awesome. From here, you're gonna hop through to seated. So come up to the balls of the feet, bend the knees, and you're gonna cross your ankles and then land onto your bum. Yes, land down onto your back. Feet are um, wider than your hips and a little further away from you. You're gonna bring your hands above you for some core here. You're gonna connect the thumbs. And when we crunch up, it's a full sit up. I'm going straight up. When we come back down, head doesn't land. Shoulder blades, tops of the shoulder blades are lifted and our hands don't come over the head. So we're controlling it all the way up and down. Now if this doesn't work for you, you can always do crunching like this, okay? Here we go. Crunch up and come back down. That's one, two, three. Good job, guys. Four, five. Control the movement. Six. We're going for ten. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Good job. 
Hug knees in. And then you're gonna bring your feet down to the mat, hands underneath your glutes, just to halfway here. And then you're gonna take your legs out, lift them up, lift your chest, or shoulders, sorry, and shoulder blades. And yeah, lift your chest, <laughs> lift your upper back. Now we're fluttering. Good job. We're scissoring. Land your head down. Scissor all the way up. Scissor all the way down. Take a look at your feet again. Scissor for five, four, three, two, one. Land down. Feet to the mat. Hug knees in again. Circles, if you like. Circles the other direction. Good job. One more ab exercise, land your feet, uh, heels underneath the knees, lift the uh, chest up, and you're gonna reach, these are reachers to the sides. Reach for your heels or even to your toes. Go for it, crunch, crunch, crunch. Keep those shoulder blades lifted. Hug the chin in a little bit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come on down, really nice. Soles the feet together, knees out, recline cobbler's pose with uh, arms into a cactus arm shape. So really enjoying this opening. I'm opening for the groin muscles and for the shoulders. Jaws relaxed, maybe the eyes are closed here. Three more rounds of breath. Gather your knees in, feet are hip width apart. Bring your right ankle bone to your left thigh. Reach your right arm through the legs and grab onto your left hamstring or shin. Flex the right toes towards the right knee. Inhale, exhale. Inhale here, exhale, getting into that right glute. Again, jaw is soft and neck is neutral. So the chin isn't squeezing down to the throat or pointing up towards the ceiling. Two more rounds of breath. And return the left foot down, right foot down now, and then left ankle bone to your right thigh. Reach your left arm through, grab onto your right hamstring or shin. Inhale here, and exhale, draw the right leg towards you. Tap into your breath, come into the depth. Three more rounds of breath here. And return your foot down. We're gonna just sway the knees side to side here. And then <clears throat> grab onto the outsides of the feet for happy baby, pull down. As you draw the knees to the outside edges of the rib cages and press your feet up into your hands. As you press your feet up and pull down a little bit more ground through the sacrum here. <coughs> Excuse me. Take your uh, Peace fingers, grab onto your big toes, straighten the legs above you, a little bend in the knees, and take your legs out to the sides for a little opening for your hamstrings and for your groin. Press your toes up into your fingers and pull down at the same time, getting a little bit more resistance here. Two more deep breaths. And hug your legs in. Good. Take your block, grab your block, and place your block underneath your sacrum for a restorative bridge. So underneath the sacrum, extend the legs down. This will give you a little front body opening, getting into maybe the quads a little bit, into your hip flexors, arms to extend above you. 
deep breaths in and out and bringing some more energy and activation into digestion here with the elevation of your belly. Follow five rounds of breath here. Keep yourself here on your practice, on your breath, on your movement for another few more moments. And then bring your feet to the mat. You might want to shift your prop down a little bit to bring your legs up into a waterfall. And you can give your uh, ankles, your feet a shake, your arms can come up and give them a shake too, wrists. Really good to stimulate the fluid in the joints by shaking them, shaking the limbs. Okay, stillness now for a few breaths. Notice the, the difference in the energy of the tissues though after shaking. You might feel a little bit more ignition or electricity. Yay. <laughs> Return the feet. Bring them down to the mat. Lift the block up. Take a moment to ground your lower back in Shavasana. Just feel how that feels. And then we're going to come into a twist. Bring your feet and your hips over to the right side of your mat. Hit, knees turn to the left and arms extend out into the T-shape or cactus arm shape, whichever one feels better for your shoulders. Your neck, turn your head to the right and maybe eyes close here. Jaws relax. Deep breaths into your right side. Three more rounds of breath. Draw your knees back to center and then bump your hips over to the left. Knees turn to the right and then head turns to the left. Keeping the eyes closed. Another three cycles here, just enjoying the opening on the left side and keeping you here with your breath. And come back to center. If there's anything else you need to do for your practice, please go for it. I am going to offer one other one here. Um, you can sit on a block, but bringing the right leg back, tuck your right foot into your um, uh, right glute and then lean back into just um, getting into like a half stooping hero to open up the quadriceps. You can come down all the way if you like. Another way you can have your leg is either straight out or bring your left foot into the inside of the right thigh and then make your way down slowly onto your back. Arms to come above you, that feels okay. And then maybe a little bit of uh, pressing the hip bone up to the ceiling on the right side. It's a little pelvic tilt. Three more breaths. And you can come out of this by grounding through your forearms. Up we go, extend the right leg, and then hug your left foot into the side of your uh, glute. And then come all the way down, maybe. You can bring the right foot into the left leg if that feels better. That extension of the right leg might make you feel a little more, like you might be getting more of a stretch. So just, or it might actually arch your lower back a little bit. So just adjust that position if it's not comfortable. And then maybe the arms come into cactus arm shape for three breaths here. Wonderful. Bring your 
uh, hand, your, I'm sorry, forearms to the ground, <laughs> press up, and then extend the legs. And come into your final Shavasana, make your way down to your back. Just some stillness here. Let your arms roll out, draw the shoulder blades together and down. And if your lower back's quite far away from the ground, see if you can inch your glutes away from you a little and tilt your tailbone down, um, up towards the ceiling a little. And then just see how that feels for grounding the lower back. Rock your head side to side. Let it fall back into its natural position. Deep breath in here. Exhale, side out. Inhale, fill, fill, fill. Exhale to empty. One more inhale. Expansion, exhale, surrender. Then go dropping heavy into your mat. Relax through the forehead and the scalp. Tongue relaxes away from the roof of the mouth. Jaw releases. And allow your eyes to drop away from the eyelids, deep down into the sockets. Drop heavy through the arms and legs, heart falls open. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me, your time with me today. Hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and um, lots of love and light from here and hugs as well. Namaste.